Okay, I want you to check this little video clip out and tell me what is going to go wrong. What is going to happen that could cost me a lot of money and a lot of headache? So don't get any further. Watch this bit. Put in the comments what you think it is. Right, before we get into it, I would like to thank everyone who has recently subscribed. And if you are new to the channel, I'm Nathan from Lewis Garden Services based down in sunny South Wales. And uh, you are very welcome to the channel. So this little bit of trimming, what am I on about? What's going to get damaged? How is it going to get damaged? And what can I do to stop it? Right, let me give you a clue. We are talking artificial lawn. Now, I've got nothing against artificial lawns in gardens. We do a lot of gardens that have areas of real lawn. They've got nice beds and borders and, and hedges, but they also have areas of artificial lawn that are used for play areas for children. Or they have it around sheds or washing lines or areas where when the weather does turn wet, it's not gonna get poached up and it's gonna stay dry and okay for the use. And I've got a bit of artificial lawn over some decking that was very kind of slippery and difficult to maintain. Now I'm able to enjoy that area easily on the weekends. Now it's going to be easier for me to show you. So imagine I've been cutting a hedge and for whatever reason you pause cutting the hedge, you're talking to a member of staff or a customer comes out or signals cup of tea, you're like yes please. Say you need to angle a cut ahead or your phone rings, anything really that makes you pause in your work. Now this is what I do. And I've seen so many people do the same thing and most of the time you can get away with it but not if you're on artificial lawn. I'm sure you're all aware that the exhaust on these long reach hedge trimmers are facing away from your operator to the back end of the machine let me show you. So there and you know the problem with exhaust fumes they can be hot so let me show you what's going to happen to that artificial lawn. Now this is what you get, melted grass, melted plastic basically. And these range from three or four seconds up to say 20 seconds on that one there. Can you imagine the homeowner coming home, finding their lovely new artificial lawn full of holes? They would not be best pleased. Now, if you're like me and I'm on artificial lawn, I can keep this in my mind. And you're probably the same. But imagine you've had a bad day, or you're distracted, or you give the hedge trimmer to someone who's not able to retain what you've told them. Now say what? One more goddamn time! And two minutes later, they're putting the hedge trimmer down. Now if someone has spent five grand, say, on having a lovely area of quality artificial lawn put down, and you've now put lots of little holes, it could be one hole burned into the artificial lawn, they're not gonna be happy. This isn't the type of situation where you can just rub mud onto it and hope they don't notice. You can't get your scissors out and trim a load of artificial lawns and sprinkle it across hoping they won't notice. They're going to notice. You're not going to be able to just cut a patch out, stick it in. The whole lot will have to come up and be replaced. And if it's been laid properly on a solid bed, it's been glued around the edges on a concrete plinth, then it's going to cost you a fair few quid. If you are worried about damaging artificial lawn, I have a little tip for you. Get a little off cut of artificial lawn. Get a zip tie, stick it around the end of your hedge trimmer, you'll see it and you'll know you're on artificial lawn. If you don't think that's going to work, I have something else for you. If you're going to give your hedge trimmer to someone who you think is going to forget, try the old artificial lawn hat. That'll remind you. I do have one more solution. Let me show you. Well, there it is. The shopping basket exhaust guard. You can put that down all day long, you won't be burning any plastic grass. So I've had a bit of a laugh and a joke about this topic, but let me tell you, if you get it wrong, if you do go out there with your petrol hedge trimmers and you're on artificial lawn and you burn holes in it, it won't be a laughing and joking matter. It'll cause you a lot of headache and probably a lot of money. So just keep it in mind. The only advice I can really say to you about it is just really keep your head in the game when you're on artificial lawn. It's so easy done to put petrol machines down in those exhaust kind of burns the hole so just just really be mindful of it and um yeah other than that tie a load of artificial lawn run your hands run your face i don't know wherever you're gonna stick it just keep it in mind anyway thanks for checking in i'll catch you all later and yeah that's it see you for now